Bus. You got to give them credit. They're a really good team. Came out with a hot start. We turned the ball over. Uh, we didn't play our best, but we found a way to win. Uh, real proud of this group. And I think you'll see that team uh, win a whole lot of games, and uh, I think we're, they're one of the best teams in the country. It's just a surreal moment. It really is. I'm thankful for the opportunity. It came down to the wire. Oregon was an incredible team. Uh, but I just kept telling Seth, your moment's going to come, and when it comes, we got to build on it, and we got to make it. So sure enough, it came, and he makes the biggest play of the game. Your offense knew when you took the field that you had to do something special. What were you guys talking about before you took the field? Uh, just we got to win. We got to win the game. Do whatever it takes to win the game. Uh, get in field goal range first, and then we'll go from there. Um, down the stretch, we made some great catches there, uh, great calls to get us down the field. And once again, there in the third quarter, we just started running the ball, and our defense played out of their minds in the second half. And so I, I wouldn't be here without everybody else, that's for sure. Down the stretch, the dude making his first career start outplayed the dude making his 28th that's going to be in the NFL this time next year. Yeah. That, that's got to be a confidence boost for Bo Nicks. Well, credit the coaching staff <laughs> as a whole for not panicking. Fourth and three, he scrambles for the first down. If he doesn't do that, it's game, set, match. It's over. Yep. And then he hits Seth for the touchdown with, what, nine seconds left? Yeah. That is an incredible finish, but you know what? We can talk offense all we uh, want. Here we go. They stayed in the game because of what? Defense. 153 starts on Oregon's offensive line. Best in the country for one quarter because the next three, they got shellacked. There was no run game after the first quarter. There was no passes down the field after the first quarter. The Auburn defense stepped up. They were phenomenal in the last two and a half quarters. Yeah.
Rod and Paula Bramlett, who died in a tragic accident this past May. Paula graduated from Auburn in 1991, then joined the Auburn University Office of Information Technology, where she worked for 26 years. Rod, a 1988 Auburn graduate, began working as the play-by-play -play announcer for Auburn baseball in 1993 and became the voice of football and men's basketball in 2003. We remember their love for Auburn and many years of service to Auburn University.